Today's presentation focuses on Parkinson's disease and medications that are currently used or that have just come onto the market that can help in the treatment of symptoms. This is really a quick summary of the one hour presentation called Expert Briefings. The original source link is in the YouTube description below. Parkinson's disease is really not a single disease. It's multiple diseases or syndromes, and those syndromes influence our treatment decisions. It's important to realize that it's been quite a lot of progress over the last 200 years. Let's look at the treatment strategies that most people with PD use. We'll call them the old players. They are levodopa and its alternatives. They are dopamine agonist, MAOB inhibitors, amantadine, and other things. They have multiple benefits, but they have certain side effects that we really don't want. So what are the new treatments that can address these challenges? With the challenge of off times, let's look at the progression from early to moderate to late Parkinson's. Over the years, the blood level of our levodopa that we're taking, that is our cinnamate, remains relatively constant. It's our symptoms that start to change as Parkinson progresses. We now have new meds to help with our off times. Things like levodopa delivery, add-ons, and rescue meds. Let's look at some of them. One such med is Ritari, a kind of extended release carbidopa levodopa. Another is the Duopa pump, which actually pumps in levodopa as an intestinal gel. There are other add-ons to levodopa that enhance its qualities but may potentially worsen dyskinesia. An interesting add-on drug is amantadine extended release, known as Gokovri. You take one dose at bedtime and it also helps with dyskinesia. Two new rescue medications are designed to help with off time. One is an inhalable powder called Embresia. The other is medication that you slip under your tongue and it dissolves and helps you then. As Parkinson progresses over the years, dyskinesia may become an issue and certain drugs like Gokovri can help treat that. One of the possible effects of Parkinson's disease is psychosis and hallucination. Fortunately, there are some new drugs able to treat that, such as Nuplazid. Orthostatic hypotension is a frequent cause of falls and therefore really needs to be treated. Fortunately, there's good meds for that. For people with advanced Parkinson who may suffer from sialuria or drooling, there are Botox-like injections that are very effective. One of the newest treatments is focused ultrasound. It's non-surgical and it does work to control tremors. It has definite pros and cons and it should be discussed as an alternative to DBS or deep brain stimulation. What does the future hold? Who knows, but it's likely to include genetically engineered treatments. So stay tuned and stay hopeful. At this point, I'm sure you have a whole number of questions, such as, how do you slow the progression of Parkinson's? What role does lifestyle and or exercise play? Do I need a movement disorder specialist or will a regular MD do? When should I take my meds? And how can I advocate for myself with my doctor? If you look in the description of this YouTube video, you will see links to the whole video, the beginning of this actual slideshow, and then third, the question and answer section. So you can jump right to it. Please make a point of checking out the Parkinson Foundation's expert briefing series. They're held monthly. You will also find other resources that support at the Parkinson Foundation website. This has been a presentation of the Parkinson Network of Mount Diablo.